Hi, my name is Aisha Dramani, the Executive Secretary for World Inspiring Network and the lead for the Youth Eco Power Project. The Youth Eco Power Project is an initiative which aims to empower 15 young youth in the city of Accra to become eco entrepreneurs and environmental leaders. Hi, my name is Peter Martin, the Youth Lead of Frontline for Climate Action, implementing the Accra Youth Climate Action Fund project by Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Our project title is Integrating Climate Change Education into Local Government and Development. This project supports the Accra Metropolitan Assembly's Climate Action Plan and aims to build the capacity and knowledge of elected assembly members and unit committee members to mainstream climate change education into grassroots development processes. This will help ensure that climate change is effectively integrated into local government, contributing to sustainable development and climate resilience. I am Obindio Shah, the project lead for plastic reduction campaign project. The project is designed to combat the escalating issue of plastic waste in the Accra metropolitan area. Hello, my name is Sarah the youth lead for climate arts. We are implementing the Accra Municipal Solid Waste Source Separation at Jamestown. Our key priorities are to separate wet and dry waste source and divert organic waste from landfills. I am Mama Kwawakita, the youth climate lead for Active Minds Reading Club. We are implementing a youth managed recycling and waste management program, which is aimed at empowering young people to lead recycling effort in their community. Hi, my name is Moses Gosworth and I'm the lead for Moses Gosworth Ministries. We are implementing the Green Future Awareness and Education campaign. Hello everyone, my name is Ebenezer Ofusu Asante, the project lead for Pentecost University, where we are privileged to work on the Accra City Green and the Mangrove project which aims to engage the youth in planting and then maintaining mangrove forests along the coast of Accra in order to enhance urban green spaces, also to reduce heat island effect and then improve air quality by planting trees, shrubs and then flowers in key areas of the city. Hi everyone, my name is Imano Makati and I am the youth lead for Godek Africa. We are currently working on a project, Clean Accra, the source separation of waste. The project aims to address significant issues of waste management in Accra by promoting the separation of waste at the source. I am Zahid Mohamed Nazir Dahan, Youth Lead for the National Union of Ghana Students on the Climate Resilience Project. We are implementing the Youth in Climate Resilience Project or the NUCS Climate Conference. Hello, I am Basil Gadawusu and I am the Youth Lead for Project Eco Makola. We aim to address the issue of plastic waste in Accra, particularly the Makola market by introducing reusable recycled bags as an alternative to single-use plastic. Hi, my name is Benedicta Adobia Sai, the project lead for Sustainable Climate Financing Initiative. Our project is a research work aimed at addressing the critical need for an increased climate financing in Ghana, exploring the feasibility in the implementation of a climate levy. Hi, I'm Ofosu Hema Bento, the youth lead for the Green Ambassadors Program, organized by the Active Minds Leadership Initiative. The program is a climate literacy and leadership awareness project targeted at girls from 14 to 19 years of age in Accra. The Youth Eco Power Project is an initiative which aims to empower 15 young youth in the city of Accra to become eco entrepreneurs and environmental leaders. It is imperative to note that our objectives are to empower assembly members and unit committee members to integrate climate change education into local government and development. Again, it will encourage community-driven approach to tackle climate change, fostering grassroots involvement. Objective is to raise awareness about climate change and promote sustainable practice of plastic reduction in Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Our objective is to create awareness among at least 50 households on climate change and its related issues, and how source separation of waste and downstream waste management activities can help address some of these issues. The objective of this project is to create awareness and promote sustainable practices. This project aims to reduce air pollution and then also to decrease urban heat islands. The basic 
aim is to educate and engage selected schools in Accra on the importance of separating of waste into recyclables, organic waste and general waste. This will help reduce the landfill use and promote recycling. Their objective is to reduce plastic waste, promote sustainable consumer habits, and empower market women through skill development in recycling processes. The objective is to focus on avenues we can use to raise funds to implement the fight against climate change. The project aims to increase climate awareness among girls in Accra and to enhance their leadership skills so that they can also start their own climate solutions in their communities. We believe that girls should be a major part of the climate solution because they are disproportionately affected by climate impacts. The objective is to bring together all students, policymakers, experts, and other stakeholders to catalyze the youth led climate action in Ghana and contribute to the implementation of national and international climate change commitments. We are excited about this partnership and cannot wait to contribute our part to climate action in creating a sustainable and resilient future. We are excited about this great partnership and cannot wait to contribute our quota to creating a more sustainable and resilient future. I'm excited about this partnership and cannot wait to contribute my part to climate action in creating a sustainable and resilient future. We are excited about this partnership and cannot wait to contribute our part to climate action to create a sustainable and resilient future. Thankfully, this project would help us contribute our quota to climate action and creating a sustainable environment for all. We are excited about this partnership and we cannot wait to contribute our part and creating a sustainable, resilient future. I am very privileged to be part of this project or to be the project head for this very initiative. I can't wait to contribute my quota to this particular project in enhancing a safer climate for everyone. We are excited about this partnership and cannot wait to contribute our part to the climate action by creating a more sustainable and resilient future. We are excited about this partnership and cannot wait to contribute our part to climate action in creating a resilient and sustainable future. We are excited about this partnership and we are grateful for the opportunity to contribute to a sustainable and resilient future. We are excited about this partnership and cannot wait to contribute our part to climate action increasing a sustainable and resilient future. Thank you, Blume Philanthropy and the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, especially the Mayor of Accra, Honorable Elizabeth Saki, for this incredible opportunity. Thank you once again. A very big thank you to the Bloomberg Philanthropies and the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, especially the Mayor of Accra, Honorable Elizabeth Saki, for this great opportunity. Thank you. Thank you to Bloomberg Philanthropy and Accra Metropolitan Assembly, most especially the Accra Mayor, Honorable Elizabeth Sack, for this incredible opportunity. Thank you to Bloomberg Philanthropy and the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, especially the Mayor of Accra, Honorable Elizabeth Saki, for such an incredible opportunity. We are grateful. We are grateful to the Bloomberg Philanthropies, Accra Metropolitan Assembly, and the Accra Mayor, Honorable Elizabeth Saki for this opportunity. Thank you, Bloomberg Philanthropy and the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, especially the Mayor, the Honorable Elizabeth Saki, for this incredible opportunity given unto us. We are so grateful. I want to express our appreciation to Bloomberg Philanthropist and then the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, most especially Honorable Elizabeth Saki for this very opportunity. I cannot wait to contribute my part of my quota to enhancing or to improving climate change in our country. Thank you very much and then I'm hoping to work with my other team members. A very big thank you to Bloomberg Philanthropy, the Accra Metropolitan Assembly and the Accra Mayor, Honorable Elizabeth Seki, for this incredible opportunity given to me to contribute to a safer environment. Thank you so much. A very big thank you to Bloomberg Philanthropies, the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, and the Mayor of Accra, Honorable Elizabeth Saki. Thank you very much for making this possible. Thank you, Bloomberg Philanthropy and the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, especially the Mayor of Accra, Honorable Elizabeth Saki, for such an incredible opportunity. Aluta continua. Thank you to Bloomberg Philanthropies, the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, and the Mayor of Accra. Honorable Elizabeth Saki 
for this incredible opportunity. Thank you to Bloomberg Philanthropy and the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, especially the Accra Mayor, Honorable Elizabeth Saki, for such an incredible opportunity.